the jewel of the north, sparkling in the edge of the province of Negros Occidental, engulfed by abundant history and culture which engrave in the heart of every Cadiznon, oozing with spectacular sceneries both in upland and in seas, and known as the city of Wales, Cadiz City. Cas traces its beginning to the establishment of a trading settlement in a place known as Cadiz Viejo, near the bank of the river Hitalon. According to historical records, the settlement was named Valdivies in honor of the founder Don Manuel Valdivieso y Morquecho, who was then Alcalde Mayor of Negros. Later, it was renamed Cadiz because of the similarity of the settlement with his hometown at Valdivieso which was the seaport Cadiz in Seville, Spain. In the year 1878, Cadiz became a municipality independent from Sarabia, now Ibi Magalona, with Antonio Cabahog as the first gobernador Silio. Cabahog was said to have brought the first sugarcane cuttings that were planted on the soil of Cadiz. At the onset of the American rule, Cadiz was on its way to prosperity with the coming of two lumber companies to the area, and luckily, one burned down in 1921, while the jurisdiction of the other lumber company, which became famous, was transferred to Sagay. On May 5, 1967, an event took place in the shores of Cadiz. Three whales landed in its shores, each measuring 40 feet long and 8 feet in height. These mammals were said to have lost its course and found themselves in Cadiz shores. On May 10 of the same year, another group of nine was seen on the bay. Due to this incident, Cadiz is identified today as the city of Wales. On July 4, 1967, Cadiz was inaugurated as a city with the approval of Republic Act 4894. In June 17, 1967, in Congress, the said act was authored by then Congressman Armando Cistillo. In July 1967, Cadiz was inaugurated as a city of virtue of Republic Act No. 4894, which was passed by Congress on June 17, 1967. The act was authored by Congressman Armando Gustillo. Pirates invaded Cadiz, destroying Cadiz City suffered of severe damages when a band of notorious pirates, led by Isabelo Montimayor, surprisingly attacked the powerless Cadiz on the tranquility of December 31, 1968. Chief of Police Norberto Tongoy was killed in action when he tried to repel the invaders. The city has a land area of 524.57 square kilometers or 202.54 square miles, which constitutes 6.69% of Negros Occidental's total area. Its population, as determined by the 2022 census, was 158,544. This represented 6.04% of the total population of Negros Occidental Province or 1.99% of the overall population of the Western Visayas region. Based on these figures, the population density is computed at 302 inhabitants per square kilometer or 783 inhabitants per square mile. It is located within the geographical coordinates of 10 degrees and 50 minutes latitude northeast and 125 degrees and 9 minutes longitude east. Cadiz Nuns daily living and their livelihood, the abundance of nature from the seashore which helps the fisher folks in their fishing to the upland with the sweetness of sugar cane and the vast agricultural land which provide farmers their living is the epitome of how opulent this is. The festival began in 1972 on the first known as Vadi City at the Atian Festival. It was only in 2002 that the festival was called Dinagsa, a name that is rightly Kadisnon. Dinagsa refers to the Hiligaynon word Dagsa, which means to come in groups. It refers to an incident on May 5, 1967, when whales were stranded in the town shore, a phrase that can only be heard on the Kadi City hymn, Dak Banwang Nalulutan. Each whale measured 40 feet long and 8 feet in height and the first group was followed by 10 more whales five days after, which resulted for the city to be dubbed as the City of Wales. For many years now, these two have coexisted during the highlights, making the Cadiz Fiesta a religious celebration and the same time a fun event for all. 
activities during the event are cultural shows showcasing of Kadis agricultural produce, live bands, and street dancing competition. During the street dance competition, town folk and tourists also enjoys the Lamitanay Sadalan, an old age tradition where people smear coal to each other. But what makes it unique is that colorful latex paints are used during the festival. Get yourselves ready to become a human canvas of abstract art. Everybody enjoys the fun during this activity with all smiles and laughter on their faces. After the Etietian and Lamitanay sa Dalan, street party starts with the famous DJs and local bands playing your favorite song while you groom and just before midnight strikes, it's time for the city skies to light up just like the colorful Lamitanay. The festival is also a spectacular feast for the patron, Saint Senor Santo Nino de Cadiz. Panulo sa Baybayon is a unique traditional method of fishing at sea in the night with only the petroleum gas as light, and later created a dance called Panulo. The famous cuisine, the delicacy of Cali City. Buririn is a small puffer fish and is one of the delicacies in the northern part of Negros Occidental, specifically in Cali City near in Seashore, which is about 65 kilometers from Bacolod City. Buriring appears here in the month of July and August. These are the months considered the happiest months for fishing boats catching these puffer fishes. The small puffer fish is not poisonous. Cali City make this as a festival wherein people make dishes out of buriring. World War II Memorial Wall is a monument for those who figured prominently in the liberation of Negros from the Japanese Imperial Forces. A memorial wall that serves as a side wall to the Cadiz City Public Plaza. It is a tribute to all war veterans who fought against the invaders during the World War II. An enormous list of heroes is emblazoned, embossed onto the 10 feet tall wall. For you, girl, I swear I'd do the worst. 